What's good YouTube? It's D-Boy coming back with another banger video for you guys. In this video, I will be telling you guys on how to be the best comp guard on NBA 2K21 current gen. I'm going to give all, all the tips. I'm going to give out all the tricks on how to become a comp guard. How to be the best on this game. Because as you can see, I'm one of the best guards on this game. I play all day. I'm an elite one. I don't get off. I don't like the game. And that's how I became the best. But with these tips, it'll be easier to become the best. So stick around for the video. Drop a like. I'm telling y'all, y'all about to be crazy after this video. And All right, guys. I'm going to show you guys stage gameplay. Because stage gameplay is is where the most comp players play at. The most comp guards. The most comp lie downs. Most comp centers. So if you're playing, if you're playing stage, you're going to get better. Get better at the game. This, I request playing stage. I don't require if you want to become the best. But if you want it, if you want to get better, it's short. You'll surely get better playing stage. It's a must, most definitely you'll get better playing stage. So we're going to get into the gameplay. As you can see, I have a play shot, perimeter, lie down, and glass cleaner finisher. Uh, that's the best lineup. That's the best lineup to run for the stage. I suggest I wouldn't run two guards. I wouldn't re run... Any other type of lineup, a stretch big. That's not the type of, type of lineup you want to run in the stage. You want to make sure you have a defender that that can guard ball. Make sure you can get a couple stops and play good defense. Because you need good defense in the stage. These are top guards that you're playing against. And make sure you're playing great defense. Make sure you're communicating. Make sure y'all playing well with each other. Talking to each other on defense. And making sure y'all want to win. But you can't play with a quiet team. It's really not it's really not it as you see I can get open right here I get open the double team and I hit the slip that's another thing you need to do on the stage I know most of you guys like dribbling the ball around y'all like scoring y'all like looking good for the, the cameras but look if you're not if you're not like if you're not like winning I wouldn't suggest it as you see just passing the ball is another tip I would say another tip on becoming a calm guard see I'm trying to get open right here can't get open Trying to get open again. And as you can see, pass out of that shot. Wasn't really a good offensive play right here, but it's all good. We get back on defense. Just stay composed, bro. Stay composed. If you don't score one play, it's all fine, bro. Just get back on defense. Make sure you talk make sure your teammates are composed. That and that's another thing playing stage. You can't just go on the stage. I know the stage community is known as toxic, yelling at discriminate at each other. But if you come in the stage, you can't come in here screaming at your teammates. That's not going to get you to win. If you want to win, bro, you have to talk to your teammates and make sure they're good. Y'all talking on defense. You see, I'm talking to my teammate. He tells me he's about to slip. I hit him on a slip. Just good IQ, good chemistry. And that's how you win, bro. That's the first stop of becoming a calm guard. You see, we're doubling. You can double team if you want every now and then. You can throw a double team at the guard. I see we're double teaming right here playing our defense. You see, I get back on defense, get the block. And I would say running out the, a, a guard, make a guard build with 10 defensive badges. I can see in my last video that, that I have, I made a guard build with 10 defensive badges. That's a great thing. You can help on defense. You see the curry slide crap. Be, don't be scared to shoot either. You cannot be scared to shoot in the stage, bro. You cannot make that many mistakes. You cannot make that many mistakes. Because there's people in here that will make you pay for your mistakes, that will make you regret it. You have to make sure that you make very few mistakes on on what you, on in the game. My bad for the stutter. See, bringing the ball up, talking to your teammates. He's telling me when he's gonna slip. He's telling me when he's gonna hold the screen. Which way? Just have a good center that's gonna talk to you. You have to have a good team. You can't go in here playing with anybody. You have to have a good team. See, I get open right here. Three wide open, bro. Dribble tutorial right there. That's a the quick stop everything on my dribble tutorial video go check that out if you guys don't know the dribble moves and all the other extra things on this game you can go check out my dribble tutorial video and see that right there is a bad mistake we don't talk right there we give up we get a turnover off the inbound and the, in the stage they press the inbound a lot as you can see you see how they're both coming up on the inbound pressing the inbound they do that a lot in the stage to deny the balls you see i run out make the iq play you see, I shoot the midi. As you see, he saw it. As you can see, he thought I was going to go back. He thought I was going to go to the three-point line, but I played it smart. I took the midi. I knew he was going to do that. So 
because most of the time when you're in inside the paint or at the midi most of the time the lie down is going to blitz you and try to play you to the outside as you see i kind of threw that that was kind of a bad play i should have held it but it's all good he's lit up with takeover so and, and if the guard has takeover you have to double team tell your center to stay up double team whatever you have to do to stop the guard from scoring so he has takeover the whole team has takeover and Showtime, Showtime is another good badge. That is a great badge to run if you guys don't know about Showtime. It gives your whole team takeover. As you see, he did a lot of Showtimes, gave the whole team takeover. My center was supposed to slip right there when the center, um, the other center came up, but it's all fine. Came back, got back on defense. See, see that dunk right there is a Showtime. It's giving the team takeover. They all have takeover right now, so I'm like, I'm just thinking to myself, don't get, don't get mad because the lie down has a get badge. Don't get scared to score. Do not be scared to score if a lie down has takeover. It doesn't matter. You see right here, green on both of them. They both can't guard me. Forget the lie down. Do not worry about the lie down even if he has takeover. Play the same way. Don't be scared to take shots. Don't be scared to take risks when he has his takeover. As you see, we're still double teaming the guard right here, making great. As you see, he greens it somehow. He greened to 60%. That's just a great shot by him. It's a great shot by him. And make sure you have a lie down that can help get the ball up. As you see right there, he passed on the ball, got the ball in. Made sure he wasn't scared with the ball. Waited patiently and gave me the ball right away and got me the ball. And yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to get open. He has a badge still. I don't really care about the takeover. I'm still trying to get open. I'm playing the same. I'm moving the same as you can see. I'm not playing different. I'm trying to move the same. Yeah, I'm trying to crab. We don't get open right here. We get a shot clock violation. I tried my best to get a score right there. We have to get back on defense. Usually right here, you cannot yell at your teammate. Do not yell at your teammate right here. Do not yell at your teammates. I know. It's looking bad, 17, 15, you're down. The other team has the ball. I know it's looking pretty scary, but just talk to each other on defense. The game ain't over until it's over until the score is 21. Game ain't over. You see my lockdown gets the stop. Gets the stop, the clutch stop that we need. And that's that's just the staying composed. You see they're double teaming. And also you can be able to dex. If you have a deck, if you don't know how to um, glitch or like 2K19, 2K20, there was a lot of glitching going on on a lot of other games. So if you know how to glitch, I would say flick your stick back and forth to get open off ball. Good off ball offense is key in the stage too. Cause not every time you're gonna get over on these lockdowns. These lockdowns are some of the most top lockdowns in the game, bro. So they're not gonna let you get open that often. You have to play smart. You have to do things that are unexpected. And right there, I did an unexpected glitch. Got open, flicked my left stick back and forth, got open. And got the three off ball, bro. You have to be able to be versatile as a guard, bro. You can't just be able to score. You have to be able to pass. You have to be able to do it all. If you can do it all, get open off ball, pass. If you can combo oh, oh, oh. green from half court. If you can do it all, that is the key to winning in the stage. All right, now I gave you guys the three score tips, all the tips to be good on the three score. Now I'm going to give you guys the tips to be good on the two score. The two score is a little... The two score is different from the three score. You need you need good offense on the two score. All that matters on the two score is good offense, bro. Don't let the other team touch the ball. That's the main goal of the two score. And if you don't let the other team touch the ball, it's over. As you see, throw the lob over his head, bro. It's a good pass. Good passes on the twos matter. Don't want to lose the ball. As I said, bro, losing the ball is very important because you don't want to play two defense on the twos court. Two's court defense is so bad, especially on current gen. So much sliding, so much gliding. You see, I'm gliding wide open. White, my center gets the board. White again, oh my God. And I make the shot, bro, but do not give your opponent the ball, bro. I don't know how many times I have to say this, but that's the goal of the twos, bro. Do not give your opponent the ball. You want to avoid playing defense as much as possible. See, and it's the same, stay composed even if you do lose the ball as a three score. But make sure you're talking to your team, passing the ball when you're out, when the center is open. Passing is very important, you see. Green has he canceled three, bro. It's just, 
everything matters. Everything, little things, ma every little thing matters in a stage, bro. Stage anywhere. Well, well, especially stage, every little thing matters, bro. You want to make sure you have on Ankle Breaker, too. Ankle Breaker is a very good badge to get open. You see? Slide. Green. Oh, wait, wait, what? I didn't green that? But, see, as you see, I'm playing defense. Do not get the ball up. Playing great defense, great heads defense. You see... When you do lose the ball, that's what happens, bro. It's very hard. You're running around a a center screen, Hall of Fame brick wall, and you're a point guard, not a lockdown. If you're doing that, it is very hard to get a stop. It's very hard, very difficult to get a stop. You don't want to do that. And you want to go for a lot of blitzes on the twos because it's hard to play defense straight up. As you see right there, I go for the blitz and get the steal. That I'm, I'm a very aggressive defensive player on the twos. I go for a lot of blitzes reach a lot that's what you have to do you can't play it's very hard to play straight up defense on the twos court or you're going to get big bodied and throw out the play and it's just it's just very complicated playing twos that's why i'm not a twos player you see the dumb animations that happen on the twos i run out of bounds bro i run out of bounds the the animations and everything is just not good on the twos so i don't suggest you playing twos but I mean, I'm learning how to play twos. I've been playing twos lately. As you see, I drop back to the lane. He's baited, gets the steal. Defense matters on the twos when you do lose the ball. You got to have some type of defensive plan. So make sure when you're on the twos, have a defensive plan of what you want to do. My center grabs the board. I was missing a lot this game. I'm dribbling. Still trying to get open. It's just... It just it matters a lot, bro. See, as you see, can do not let them touch the ball. Now IQ shot right here. That is just an IQ shot. I know he's not gonna expect that. And do the unexpected. Do the unexpected. If you do the unexpected on the threes or the two, that is the best way you can play, bro. Do the unexpected things that nobody expects. If you do stuff people don't expect, they will they will they will be so surprised. You see, blitz again. That is the key to the two score. Go for blitzes, go for blitzes. This game, I believe I was grinding rep, so I was not looking to shoot the ball as much as I, I would usually do. But, as you see, go for blitzes, quick stop green, make sure you have the quick stop down. The twos court is a very hard court, difficult court, but you can get it done if you make the right decisions. Do not mess up. Do not mess up on the tools. Do not mess up.